Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I'm pretty sure everyone I know is talking about and or has seen this show and loves it, and that is WandaVision on Disney+. Plus. Now, um, I have not, or I did not, uh, watch the show when it originally started up, premiering on Disney Plus every week. I literally just finished episode 8, like, five minutes before filming this video, so, um, I basically just watched the entire show in the span of 12 hours, and now I really, really, really want to see the finale. Um, now, before I go any further in the video, I need to remind you guys to please leave a like on the video if you enjoy and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. To help me reach the goal of 20,000 subscribers, I would really, really appreciate that because I do uh, TV show related videos every single day and I am super excited to talk about WandaVision on this channel. I absolutely love this show. Now, before I go any further, I need to say that, uh, I am not, or I wasn't, I should say, the biggest MCU fan. Like, I saw the movies, I watched Endgame when it came out, I have seen all the MCU movies, but like, I'm not, or I wasn't, a major fan of the MCU. Like, I liked the movies, but I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I wasn't like, in that invested in the MCU universe. I've seen the movies and I enjoyed them. It just, I wasn't like the biggest MCU fan. So when I heard about WandaVision, um, I was, I, I had very mixed feelings on this show and mixed reactions when, or a mixed reaction and, uh, thoughts when I heard about this show because even though I'm not the biggest MCU fan as I said I did see all the movies and Vision and Wanda are two of my favorite characters in the MCU so I was super excited uh, that they were getting their own Disney Plus show um and I was actually really excited to watch it but then I tried watching the first two minutes of episode one and when it was in black and white I was like not the biggest fan um and I kind of just like turned it off and didn't watch the rest of it please don't hate me but like the thing with me is I'm super 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 picky on what I watch because the thing with me is I when I watch a show I like overanalyze everything so because of that uh, if I like a show, I like, I love the show. I don't just watch the show and enjoy it. Like, I try to figure out everything about the show. Um, that's just how I am as a movie reviewer and TV show reviewer. So, um, when I watched the first episode and I was like, I don't know if I like this or not. Whenever I feel that way about a show... I don't uh, waste time, in my opinion, uh, going and watching the entire show. Uh, so I just continued to, you know, watch theory videos about WandaVision uh, from my favorite YouTube channel, Super Carlin Brothers. So I was up to date on what was happening with the show, and I was aware of how many people loved this show, my friends included. And I was aware of how big this show was in the MCU and how it kind of was or is different from anything that has happened or that has uh, taken place in the MCU this far. So I'm aware of how many people love this show. I just, I'm the type of person that it takes a lot and a show has to be really, really, really good for me to uh, bother watching it because I have so many other shows that I have to watch on a weekly basis because of the nature of what I do uh, professionally and for a living that in order for me to take time out of my day watching something new, 
it has to be something that captures my attention immediately or I don't bother watching it and I just go back and uh, watch the shows that I report on professionally on this channel. So when I originally started watching WandaVision, the fact that it didn't capture my attention right away because it was in black and white, I didn't uh, bother to watch any further in the show and I just continued to watch these shows that I report on on this channel because I thought that that was the best use of my time uh, because it's what I do professionally is review movies and TV shows. But I finally, last night, I was like, you know what? From all the theories I'm seeing on YouTube, uh, from everyone that's talking about it and, you know, uh, posting on Instagram and everything after every single episode and, you know, freaking out and having a breakdown and, uh, you know, wanting to know what's going on and happening in each episode, uh, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to watch it. I didn't have any... Thing else that I had to watch last night so I was like you know what Wanda and Vision are my two favorite characters or some of my favorite characters in the MCU my top two favorite characters um, in the MCU so you know what maybe if I can just get through the first couple of episodes I will enjoy it and let me tell you that is exactly what happened I love this show oh my gosh like I'm dying to find out what happens. Also, if there's not a season two, I'm going to cry. Um, my favorite part of this show is the fact that what I do professionally uh, on YouTube and on social media is try to answer questions about uh, TV shows and movies and come up with theories and predictions and uh, overanalyze everything. So the fact that part of the TV show is then trying to figure out what is going on. And the scene uh, where they had the blackboard and they're writing down all of these questions, like literally that is what I do on a daily basis uh, with other TV shows. I literally have a notebook where I write down questions about every TV show that I watch or I write it down on my phone. Like that is what I do. So I was like, I relate to this and I love it. Um, because I understand what they're doing. I understand why they're asking the questions that they're asking. I understand, I loved seeing them try to figure it out because that is what I do. And I was like, I love this. Also, um, my favorite scene of the entire, uh, season, at least this far, or one of my top favorite scenes anyway, I might do a whole video, uh, breaking down my favorite scenes from season one of WandaVision because honestly... I have that many that it's worthy of its own video on this channel, in my opinion. If you guys want to see that, uh, make sure to leave a like on the video because that is the best way to let me know that you guys want to see more WandaVision content on my channel. But one of my favorite scenes is when Vision is preparing to be a dad and he's like reading all the um, b like books and stuff that he can find about, you know, pregnancy and, you know, being a dad and like all that I loved it and then when he was like practicing changing a diaper or whatever I was like why am I why am I finding this first of all so adorable but also so funny at the same time like I'm really hoping that uh, in the finale we see more of Vision being a dad maybe I don't know this show though is like the perfect show for someone like me who uh, dissects, you know, TV shows and movies and overanalyzes literally every second of any TV show uh, because trying to figure out, you know, what's actually going on, what's the bigger picture here, and what are the bigger implications in this case uh, to the MCU. So I absolutely if you guys cannot tell love wandavision if you have not seen it which i'm gonna guess that everyone has seen it at this point because it is just that good but if you have not and you were like me and you're like i don't know if i should watch this or not just do yourself a favor and go watch this show um i absolutely love it and that's coming from someone who is not the biggest fan of superhero movies or the mcu in general in that matter, for that matter, um, 
now as I said, I enjoyed the MCU movies. Endgame is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, but I was just really bored of the MCU content to be completely honest with you. I'm going to uh, refer to something that uh, my favorite YouTube channel, Super Carlin Brothers, called it when they were talking about this situation or this problem in the, in the MCU, and that is superhero burnout. Like, I just thought that you know, every MCU movie was the same, in my opinion. It was all about, you know, bad guys, good guys fighting bad guys, good guys winning eventually. Um, and I was just like, we need something different. We need something new. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was just tired of the whole good guy versus bad guy kind of thing. But uh, with WandaVision, it is still superhero and it's still superpowers and Wanda and Vision are a big part of the MCU and they're two big MCU uh, characters or a part of the MCU um but it's not all about the fact that they are superheroes which I really enjoyed uh watching but it was just the right amount of superhero versus not superhero and I was like this is great also Agnes is my favorite. I'm not sure if you're supposed to hate her. I'm not sure if you're supposed to love her, but like, she's great. Okay, she she is so fun. And I love characters that like, you are supposed to be kind of confused if they're the villain at, at the beginning, but then they, as the season progresses, it's so obvious that they're the villain. And then in the last couple of episodes, they like go, full bad guy villain kind of mode i i really like that so um i'm really really excited to find out what happens in the uh finale tomorrow because like i'm so invested in this show now like it is great i love it um but overall that's just what i thought of wandavision i gonna be honest wasn't gonna watch it at first yes uh wanda and vision are two of my favorite mcu characters but uh as i said um what i do professionally involves me to watch other shows and you know over analyze other shows i already do uh two other shows on this channel heartland and manifest so i wasn't sure if i was going to make this video or not but then i was like you know what it's not very often I find a show that I genuinely enjoy to the point that I want to make videos talking about it. Like, I have um, watched TV shows in the past that I was like, you know what, maybe this will turn into something on my channel, but then it doesn't because I just lose interest in it immediately. And I can tell you that is not the case with WandaVision. So get ready for more WandaVision videos coming on this channel because I am absolutely in love with this show i love it and i cannot wait for the season finale um because it, more wandavision content for me to talk about it on this channel and i'm super okay with that so that being said if you guys want more wandavision content on this channel uh make sure to leave a like because that is the best way to let me know that you guys enjoy when i do certain types of videos i know wandavision is different than anything i talk about on this channel but I really liked it, so I'm going to continue making videos about it. So if you guys want to see more of my thoughts on WandaVision and predictions and theories and top 10 videos and best moment videos and stuff like that, uh, make sure you hit the red subscribe button down below and help me uh, get to 20,000 subscribers. I would really, really appreciate that, and I promise to have more WandaVision content coming very soon on this channel because... I love this show. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to go. Goodbye.